The first months of the pandemic in our hospital were, I think, the same as for everybody in healthcare, really frightening, disconcerting, and creating a lot of uncertainty about where our specialty could best help meet the demands of the situation. I think we have now reached a steady state of finding ways to work with the pandemic as it is now. We are still seeing patients coming through who are COVID positive or are testing positive for other diseases that get flagged up on their testing sometimes. So our workflow is inevitably still slower in our hospital. There are more cancellations, there are more last minute changes, and we've had to learn to be much more flexible in the way that we work. We are still seeing patients being referred at very different stages of their disease now. Many patients who did not come forward or were not referred onwards appropriately during the pandemic are now presenting with much more established disease. And on top of that is the extra anxiety that patients have about coming into a healthcare setting and accepting treatment. I think that's a challenge for all of us going forward. And it's not just oncology, we're seeing it in other diseases too. So for instance, in my practice, I look after children with renal stones, and we are seeing children presenting with much more advanced renal stone disease than we ever did before, because these patients have been lost somehow in the system over the panic of the last 18 months. I think the most important things that we've learned during the pandemic are twofold. One is about teamwork, learning to be more collaborative and thinking outside the box as to how we can flex our skills and those of our department and our specialty to help those other teams who have struggled in the pandemic so that we can still deliver the best service we can for our patients. And secondly, the pandemic has taught me a lot about team working within my team and about the people that I work with and the families that we care for. Uh, I have certainly paid much more attention now to mental health, to thinking about burnout, thinking about teamwork, and taking care of each other to make sure that we stay well too while we're working so hard to care for others. We've developed resilience for sure, and we've developed flexibility. And I also think that IR has developed a greater respect from other specialties too. They've seen how we've been able to respond to this crisis and the innovation that we have brought to the situation. I think that will hold us in really good stead for the future.